Hello everybody, Russian with Puma Messi here. Uh, I welcome you all to our channel and again I want to invite you to become a subscriber to the channel because at the channel we are learning Russian Messi style. And if you love Messi, if you love Gerda, Masha and Sasha, then this channel is for you because you're probably interested in Russian language as well, because you know that Puma Macy lives in Russia. Please do subscribe to the channel. And today we continue our conversation about an alphabet. I know I probably scared you with two first videos on the subject and um, they turned out to be quite long and the second one even longer. I mean, I've been talking and talking and talking while recording the video. And when I started making the video, 30 minutes, oh my God, how is it going to be? And since I don't know how to cut it yet, um, I don't have any editors, video editors. Actually, I downloaded the DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to play with it this weekend and I'll cut out just the letters and I'll leave alone the um, grammar, I mean, the, the theory, the theoretical part of the alphabet. And that's what's going to be probably a little bit easier for you uh, just to uh, learn the letters. And today we are going to dedicate our attention to the five letters. Five letters and they are in order how they stand in the alphabet. And we are in such luck that Messi has an exact story out of his life that to the demonstrate they, they just go along with these letters and when I was uh, doing this uh, project I'm like I, I definitely have a story Messi has that story for those five letters and uh, the letters are G D Y Y Z there is a video and I'm going to make a, a link available for you to go and watch this video. So one of the days when Sasha and Masha went for a walk with Messi and it was summertime in Russia and Messi met this interesting animal. Look at this. He met this hedgehog and he had no idea what was that, but he became very, very curious and hedgehog. It's a word that actual letter U loves very much because in Russian language, it's not such a long word and it starts with letter U. And as I told you that these five letters, G, D, Y, U, Z, they form a question. Где ёж? Где ёж? Где Yosh, where is the hedgehog? And you know what? It's been many years since I looked at the Russian alphabet and I was presenting it in the classroom, but it wasn't until one day when a student of mine, very creative uh, young man, he said, look at this. This actually two words, these five letters form two words. Where is hedgehog? And I'm like, Really? <laughs> yeah, it is. So that discovery doesn't belong to me, but I am using it. Let's go to the next slide. Here is how our story goes in Russian. Messi гулял и нашел ежа. Messi гулял и нашел Yeja. Messi went for a walk and found an, a hedgehog. This is a dialogue between Sasha and Messi. Messi. Papa, что это? Messi, это Yorj. Yorj? Da Yorj. Где ёж? Вот ёж. Как интересно. Как интересно. Here's our translation. Daddy, 
What is this? Messi. This is a hedgehog. A hedgehog. Yes, a hedgehog. Where is the hedgehog? Here is a hedgehog. How interesting. This is one of the rare occasions when Russian word is much shorter than an English word, only two letters. Let's try to read Russian sentences and dialogue without help of any transliteration and transcription. So let's see. Messi. M. E. S. S. E. Messi. 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 Гулял. G. U. L. Я л гулял гулял и conjunction и and нашел нашел н а ш ё л нашел е ж а ежа 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 so this is our yo actually transforms into ye because it's one more syllable ends because the ending of the case is over here and yo gives up its rights. I mean, it was forced to do that. I really feel sorry for our letter yo because it's such an important letter and it just made to lose its dots. And when we read here, yeja, 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 it assimilates, it's kind of ye, ye, yeja, yeja, yeja. Messi gulial i nashol yeja. These two verbs are in the past tense, third person masculine. It's uh, to walk, to stroll, and to find those two verbs. And now it's very easy to read. Papa, P A P A. Papa, что это? Что это? This letter Ch, we read it as Sh, as Sha, and I told you that that is always in this word. It's always going to be Sh 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 Sh. Что это? Что это? Letter O at the end becomes A. Что это? Что это? Месси. Это ёж. Это ёж. I wonder what do you hear at the end over here? So the letter is Ж. 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 And ё. Technically, you have to say ёж. Это ёж. Это ёж. But then we have to remember about those pairs of consonants, voiced and voiceless. And the, this pair is ж, ш, ж, ш. So Russians just say ёж. Это ёж. ёж. What do you hear? Ёж. Ш, ш. You can add some voice to it. Ёж. No one is going to blame you for that. Это ёж. ёж. But Russians would say это ёж. Это ёж. 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 Да, ёж. Д, а, да, ёж. And these are all letters. Г, Д, Е. Где ёж? Вот ёж. В, О, Т. Вот ёж. Как интересно. Let's try to read this long word. First the short one. К, К. А, К, как, как, как. Remember only sounds. And now, И, Н, Т, Е, Р, Е, С, Н, О. So we have stress over here on this Е, on this Е, and it means that this Е is going to be Е. The rest of the letters. Well, this E would remain E, but this E, without the stress, it would become E. 
and this O would become A. Как интересно, как интересно, как интересно. Now we know everything about the letters and the words. We know every uh, word, what it means and everything. Now let's simply read the dialogue. Papa, что это? Месси, это Йош. Йош? Да, Йош. Где Йош? Вот Йош. Как интересно. And this lesson is going to be much shorter. It is shorter. And um, what I wanted to tell you, that what I forgot to tell you in the beginning, this was our alphabet, Russian alphabet part three. Русский алфавит, часть три, часть три. And uh, I hope it was uh, very informative for you. Now you know five more letters how to use and that those letters that are actually in the order in Russian alphabet, they do form two wonderful, funny words that Macy has a beautiful illustration for us to use. You are at the channel Russian with Puma Macy. Please subscribe, please like the video and I'll see you tomorrow. До завтра!